So good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Okay. From our introductory task, what we're seeing at the moment, we're seeing some of the angles that we did la last lesson. And we should be naming those angles. Okay, so I'll give you a few more minutes to finish those off. But I'll need you to name those angles. So what we want to do today, we want to see if we can recognise and describe all the types of angles that we see with parallel lines. Okay, that should be what we're checking off at the end of the day. Okay, we seeing all the relationships that exist, okay, and we're going to be able to have a task that's going to have a lot of relationships we're going to see, but we need to be able to check this off. So we need to come back to this at the end of the day, end of the lesson, and see if we're checking that off. Actually, Ian, just write it underneath, yeah, a little bit of space there. You just need what type of angles they are, okay? What, type, what types do we see? Okay. Can we remember their proper names instead of these ones? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Go back to what you had this morning, if you need. There's subtle, there's subtle differences, Sam. Yeah. Are they exactly the same? No. Okay. So where are you going to get that information about where, what they are? Yeah, we, from the sheet you had this morning, from earlier on, last lesson. Yeah, you can look at any information you need. Use whatever you need to answer these questions. What are these angles called? Let's go. So these two are different, right? They're different, yeah. Boy, how are they different? Have a look. Okay. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Yep, yeah, just name them. Okay, do you remember what we call them? Okay, are these, these is the same? There? Okay, think about it carefully. Okay, you want to bring it up, Marcus? Put it under the camera. Okay, Mark is going to tell us why, what he wrote down. And can you explain why, Marcus? Okay, off you go. Are you listening? Alternate. Okay, you spelled it correctly. Big loud voice so everyone can hear. Alternate because... Angles, they're the exact same angles, but they're in different positions. Okay, so they're the exact same angles. So they're equal. Alternate angles are equal, aren't they? And what do we see? What are, where did you see them? Where do we see alternate angles, did you say? Okay, across from each other on the opposite side of... What do we call this line? Do you remember? Transversal. The transversal, good boy. Okay, so taking note of all those terms. Okay, that's really important for our project. Okay, we've got to be able to describe those terms. Okay, what about this one? Co you wrote, wrote co-interior. Why did you write co-interior? I wrote co-interior because they're, they're in the same space. Okay. Equal Okay, what do we know about co-interior angles? Actually, Ian? They're supplementary. There's another word for adding up to 180 degrees. And okay. Both the they're both together. Yeah, to, co means together, doesn't it? So, again, using our language, together on the inside. Okay, remember we talked about that last week. Okay, and the last one you wrote? I wrote that it was corresponding because it's from the same position but on a different side of the parallel line. Okay, different, same position, different parallel line though. And what do we notice about those ones? They're in the same spot. They're in the same spot. What else though? What else are you noticing? They add up to 200. Well, they, they add up to 200, but we don't really want to, nothing really adds up to 200 we want. In this, in parallel lines, Victor. Um, they're both the same. Right? Both the same again. So you're noticing that those are equal angles, only because they're parallel lines. If they're not parallel lines, they don't have to be equal. But we really want to work on parallel lines, though, in our task because that's going to help us with our trick shot on the pool table. Okay. So we've we written those down. If we who got those right? Okay. Okay. We remembered our terms. Okay. So who mixed them up a little bit? Okay, so we've got to start taking a bit more care about which one's which. Okay, our alternate, our co-interior and our corresponding. Which ones are equal? Okay, and which one adds up to? 180 degrees. Okay, is there any questions there? Okay, so take note of those three terms because we need to use those ones today. Thank you, Marcus. Good boy. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move into the task for the day. So what I want you to do is have a look on the board. I don't want you to... I don't want you to start writing anything yet. I want you to read the task first, okay? There's not too much to read, but there is 
a diagram we need to take care of. Okay, so we everybody looking at the board and having a look at what it says. Are there any terms on the board there that we're not sure of? Any words that, any words there we go, I don't know what that means. Bilal, yes. Terminology. Terminology, okay. What do you think we mean by mathematical terminology? Can you have a stab at it? Um, Okay, you're using words like right angles, okay. George? Like mathematical like language. Mathematical language. So ma the language that we use in mathematics, okay, rather than just some, some uh, broad terms. So have we seen some mathematical terminology today? Yeah. Oh, wait, what have we seen? What terminology have you seen today? Okay, good boy, yeah. Okay, so you're recognising what's important in terms of mathematical terminology. And that's what your answer wants to be in, doesn't it? We need to explain our answer, why certain things are, are happening, using that terminology. Does that make sense, Bilal? Okay, Victor, question. So, see how there's two lines crossing through? Are they both uh, transversals? They can be both transversals, yes. Okay, because what's a transversal? Line that crosses. Line that crosses. Parallel lines. Is it crossing parallel lines? Okay. So how many angles are we seeing formed here? A lot. A lot, okay. There's many, many different angles being formed that you can start to play with today, okay? So what I want you to do in your first part of the task, the main task says, <coughs> what does the problem want me to do? Okay, there's our first step in polyus, problem solving, okay? Can we write down something in that first box? What does the problem want you to do? And then once you've got that down, you can move on to the next box, and say, well, how do you think you're going to go about this problem? Is there any steps that you're going to take? What are you going to dive in? What are you going to take from your toolbox today? What problem solving steps could you try to solve this problem? Can you identify any of those? Okay, Bilal, can you, explain, can you tell us what you wrote down for? Big loud voice. What do you? What, what does the problem want you to do? Uh, it wants me to work out angles. Okay. Wants you to work out the angles, some angles, and what they are called. Does that sound like Bilal knows what he's going? He has to do. Okay. Finding size of the angles. Okay, and what they're going to be called. Okay. Tell us about your next step, which is probably your second step, isn't it? How are we going to go about this problem? Okay, what did you write down there? Uh, I wrote down, I'm just going to use my knowledge to work the questions out and use other sources. Okay, so using the prior knowledge he's got. So Bilal's confident that he's got some knowledge about what's, what these type of angles are, and he's going to look to use those. And if he gets stuck, what's he going to do? What else did he say he could do? Trial and error. No, no, he didn't say anything about trial and error. What, other, what else did you do? Yeah, go some other sources. So Bilal's starting to show me our four before me. All those four before me strategies. He's looking to go, okay, I'm using my brain. If I get a little bit stuck, I'm going to start going to some other sources, the books, okay, iPad, okay, other sources of information that might be there. Have we got any other hints for people to use today? Jacob. Um, we could use the sheet that we did earlier today. Okay, so we had a sheet in the last lesson. Okay, which had some information about these types of angles. There's a good source, isn't there? Okay, so give me a rating out of five, five being the most confident, okay, one being the least confident of how confident we are to go on and do this task. You reckon you can do this task? Okay, hold your hands up for me, five, one to five. Okay, you get us? You got to, you're confident, okay. Okay, people look like they're reasonably confident, okay. Over the page, you'll find some working space. So if you go over your page, you'll see the diagram there where you can do some working space. So you can play around and, and put any numbers you want there and play there. Underneath that, you've got a space for your final working. Okay, so it allows you to do some work around it. Doesn't have to, it's okay if it's messy. Okay, but then after it, you can do your final copy. Okay? We ready to go? Have a go. So it doesn't have to be exact, that's why we're not measuring, okay? But we need to use our knowledge of angles to be able to see, okay, does my, does my diagram make sense? Uh, 
um, over here, this all adds up to 180 degrees. But would these have, would we have to add up these or to get to one? Okay, think about what we know about our angle, Sam. Okay? Think about what we know about our angles, okay? If, you're getting, if you get stuck, what other, what other ways can we get unstuck, boys? Let's think about four before me. Use a buddy, okay, ask a buddy. Ask for a hint, we've already got some hints. Bilal gave us some hints before. Okay, so did Jacob. Okay, go use, try our toolbox, try our problem solving strategies. There's plenty of things we can do. Okay, no, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to answer questions for a while. This is about you doing it. Marcus, you have a go, have a go. It's something different. Have a go for the moment, okay. Okay. Ali, have a look at this one. Okay. Can, can, can you go back to this one? Have a start with this one. What do you think X might be? Okay. Have you got your sheet from this morning? Okay. Have a go back to that one. And if you see what that one is, see if you can work out what that one is. Okay. If you get that one, have a go at that one. Okay. And then see if we can get onto this one. Okay, go back to the sheet from this morning and have a go. Okay, how are we going? Okay, do you writing down what these angles are? Okay, are they right angles, straight angles, revolutions, acute, obtuse, reflex? Okay, so using one of those names, you're writing those ones down. Okay, and then you can do the diagrams again. Okay? Come on, concentrate. Let's go. Oh, this is your, yeah, that's your job. I don't know what the angles are. This okay. On your Let's have a look. Can you start here, George? Yeah. Okay. Can you find what the X value is in this one? Yes. What would that be? Okay. Find out what that one is. Okay. And if you finish finding that one, what would this one be? And then, can you label some angles or alternative there? So start having a go at that one there. Yeah. Okay. Isn't this one kind of an easy one? Because it's a straight angle, but and then like, you just add this, and then this is like. Mm, okay. It was, what do we know about a straight angle? 180. Okay. So think about your numbers there. What do these two add up to? Well, one ninety. Okay. Do you need to change? So you need to change a little bit, don't you? 140, 140. There we go. Will that work? Do you know how a lot, a lot of numbers could add up to like 180? Mm -hmm. this, does this have to add up to any number? Well, what, do we, what, what things do we know in, about the angles? Straight ang If it's along a straight line, what do they have to do? Okay. But what else, what else exists? When, think about what else exists in parallel lines. So could those two be equal? Uh, yeah. Okay, so should, those, should you have those angles there like that? Okay, yeah. okay, think about, and think about what we did to start off with. Yeah. Okay, and is it matching up to what we said earlier? Okay, you got some angles there. Okay, if you, that one's 70, is it? What would the other one start to be? Do you think around there? Maybe 70. Okay. So think, think about what else they could be. Think about along the straight line there. What do we know has to happen? Yeah, is that? Okay, so think about what's happening there. Good. Can you give us some numbers? Yeah, we actually want some numbers that are gonna work. Can you write the type of angle as well? Or? Yeah, you can start to, yeah, exactly. Because that's starting to justify what you know is true. Okay? okay. And you could like you can put it on the side and point to it if you like and say what you're seeing there. Okay. Good boy Sam, that's the way. Go back, use those sources. Sorry? So the um, line here and here, are they 180? Yes, any any straight line's 180 oh, degrees, okay. yeah. What, what do you know about angles? Think think about what you Yep. Okay. Can you the same what has to equal 360? And that's that's the thing. 
just pointing out random angles, but would all those be equal to 100 and 360 together? No. No. What do we call it? The angles at the point. Okay. What we need to be doing, some people are trying to go a little bit too general and just name angles. What we do want to see, what does the question say? What we need a size of an angle. Okay. We need to get a size of an angle. So you need to be able to pick an angle and then start to work with that. So doesn't matter which angle you pick, start to pick and start to name, we don't have to measure it, but we just need a size of an angle and then start to look at the relationships there. You can do whatever construction you like, Yash. Yeah. But is it going to be exact? We, we don't know if it's going to, we don't want it to be exact. Yeah. But if it, you're checking with the protractor, it might tell you you're different. But that's okay. We, we're not drawing it to scale. Okay. That's good. That's good. So you know what angles are supposed to be equal to. So can you transfer that information to, the, to this type of diagram? Can you see these sorts of things here? Yeah. Okay. And even if you want to use some of those numbers there and see if they ma and, and I was I was just having trouble like finding out where like what what the angles are. Okay, well that's the thing, you don't have to have it exactly. It's they say what type of angle is this one? Acute. Acute. Pick an acute angle. Oh yeah. Okay? And then work from there. Oh. Okay. Ali, how do we go? I, I don't know even how to answer it. But okay, where's the sheep from this morning? Okay, well that's not a great place for it, is it? Okay, what did we say before about these two angles? Can you recognise those? Okay, what do we call them? Co-interior, and what do we know about them? Yeah, but they, what do they add up to? 180, so what do you think X would be if we have to add it to 108 to get 180 degrees wouldn't be 172 but it would be 72 yeah okay so can you see these sorts of angles in here as well and then alternate angles on that diagram okay it's, it's looking like it matches up doesn't it so can you start to name these ones? There's the next part of it. Like you've got angles that are all working. Can you get angles, can you get, can you start to name all, what are these ones called? And what are these ones called? Okay, what are these ones called? Okay, so see how we're getting all our language now that we got our numbers correct. Okay, good boy, son. Okay, I like that you put a few extra workings in there and a bit of extra constructions. Okay, can you start to name these angles though? How do you, well, what would, we, what would we call these two, two angles? Corresponding. Corresponding, so what do we know about corresponding angles? They're in the same position. They're in the same position, but also what do we see here? No, they have to be Same angle. equal. Yeah, are you? Are we seeing that here? Oh, no. Okay, so there's relationships you, you've got to pick up. Okay, how can we fix? How can you fix that up? What's the angle on a straight line there? Do we know? Any angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. Okay, so those two would have to add up to 180. We also know co-interior angles add up to 180. Okay, because that's what we talked about this morning. That's okay. You've just got to get around those terms and get those correct terms and the positions of those. So we just see, need to see a few more. Okay, have a think about what that one matches up to over here and see if you can work out what X is there. Okay, Ashton, can you bring yours up to show us, please? Right, gentlemen, can we... Put our pens down and face the front for the moment. Let's use our 
manners and listen to Ashton and how, what he's done here. And he's starting to show us some angles here. Okay, Ashton, off you go. Okay, loud voice, big loud voice. So, I did some um, vertically opposite angles as well. Okay, so he's found supplementary angles, which add up to 180 degrees. He's found vertically opposite angles. And he's starting to mark them in different colours, just to identify them. Okay. Which angle did you start off with? What was, what was your plan of attack today? Did you just... Uh, the, um, angles right here, so... Okay. Okay, so you, you worked on the idea that straight lines, you've got 180 degrees. Yep. Over here, where there's the vertical opposite here, and then we're going to supplementary, these two. So why would you pick 45? Because I drew like a diagram, so pretty much I drew this like a square. Okay, because you, on, your, on your original one, you had, yeah. you put some extra construction. So who else tried some extra construction in there? I know Yash did. Anyone else like, put some other lines in? Then, and obviously that helped you, okay. Yash, did you find that helped you as well? To, to extend your lines, to move your lines about? And that's fine, isn't it? Okay, we can do extra work there if that's gonna help us get that understanding. Okay, so that's a good tactic to use. So, when I drew um, the square, this was like pretty much a half. Okay. Estimated being 45. Okay, so you looked at the idea that that could be 90 degrees, so that's 90 degrees as well. See how he went for nice angles. Okay, pick the ideas and look for those ideas, those angles where it look close to 90, let's go with 90 because nice numbers to work with. Okay, so he's seeing other angles as well. So see how he's picking out all these vertically opposite angles. What do we notice about his angles here? Are these working here? Are they right? Is the relationship correct? Yes. Why is it correct, Andre? Are we paying attention? Okay. You should be looking at this and going, okay, is he correct? I mean, is, he, is everything matching up? Okay. You've got to look at it with a critical eye. They're corresponding. They're corresponding. Okay, good. Okay, someone's telling me some, extra, some terminology there that makes sense there. So we can start to see the parallel lines and lots of angles that are starting to be corresponding and co-interior, okay, because they're starting to add up together as well. Okay, and he was, he was still in the process of explaining all those ones. Okay, but you did a really good job. Thank you. You can say that one. Okay, Daniel, you want to bring yours up and show us yours? Give us another example. Yes. Oh, so, so. Um, back to Ashton. With the 90 degrees, uh, yep. Um, where you had the 90 degree angle, yep. Yeah. So, with the 90 degree angle, I wanted to know like, exactly how the square looks like. Yeah. So, I drew the square, and then 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 I have a look at Vincent's as well. Tell, did, you, did you think that as well? Were you along the same lines? It looked like 90 degrees. It look, yeah, so did it, and it didn't say I had to pick any particular, ang and it had to be a particular angle. Okay, so he's looked for that one look that looked like 90 degrees, and that was okay to pick that. That's what we said. Okay, do you want to move it up so we can just see a little bit more of your explanation? Okay, so Vincent's tried to get that these ideas down on paper, which is what we need to get us for our project. We need to be able to describe what we're seeing on the pool table or on a piece of paper in mathematical terms and words. So this is where this practice is going to help Daniel because he's starting to write uh, his thoughts down in mathematical terms here. So what mathematical terms did you use? So like, um since these are vertically opposite, I put that down. And okay, so you mentioned vertically opposite angles. Yeah, and these are supplementary. So. Supplementary angles, okay. So he's using those terms. What other terms have you used in your explanation? Um, I used um, like, some um, co-interior angles. And he's mentioned co-interior angles. Okay, so he's pointing out co-interior angles. Any others? Um, corresponding, like these two. Okay, corresponding angles as well. So... If you're, you're looking at what Daniel's explaining and, and how he's using those terms, is he meeting the brief for the project? Is he going to get a lot of those terms and be able to see those terms in <coughs> the project itself? I think I've, I've got a good feeling for Daniel with the way he's explaining things here and the way he's written there, written his work there. Okay, thank you for that. 
So see, this is what we wanted to get up to. We wanted to get some written tarts, written explanations, not just our angles, but why, okay? Ashton was doing it a different way. He was starting to highlight and point, point out. Daniel's getting that written explanation, okay? So what do we need you to pick up from this task? Let's have a look up here, okay? What we need to be able to do is see these types of words in our explanations. Alternate angles, the corresponding angles, and co-interior angles. We needed to, that's what we would have liked to have seen. Those angles pointed out, whether, and where we're seeing corresponding, the alternate angles, and the co-interior angles mentioned. Even if we just see them at least once, we're starting to get that explanation in there. What else do we, what else do we see today though? We got told about vertically opposite, didn't we? So people were able to point out vertically opposite angles and the supplementary angles we were also seeing. What's the third, there's this one here, adjacent angles. Okay. What do we mean by adjacent angles? Like Cheyenne? They're next to each other. They're next to each other. So do we have lots of angles that were next to each other? Yes. Okay. And we sort of saw it with Ashton's where he started to say, well, if that one was 90, those ones together were 180, so I knew those two could be 45. So he picked out some angles that are adjacent and started to work with those. So there's terms that we need to, we could put into our diagram. Hey, Sean, you've got a question. Um, there's some question like, I saw some adjacent angles which linked up to an alternate angle. Okay, so you start to get more relationships that are existing between these different types of angles. George, question. So can, can't adjacent always like as well be and when you add an angle? Yeah, when you're adding two angles together, because they're next to each other, yes. So there's 180 angle, when you add an angle on the end. So you could talk about adjacent angles being supplementary, yeah. couldn't you? Because two angles together, adding up to 180 degrees, see how you're starting to link those terms, okay? But see how it, we'd really like to see you talk about it as adjacent angles, these two adjacent angles, were supplementary rather than I had two angles that added to 180 degrees. See where the ma mathematical terms start to come in and we start to describe, the, describe these in a little bit more depth and a little bit more sophistication. What do you mean they're next to each other? Well, remember what we talked about? If I'm standing here next to Marcus, I'm adjacent to him. Okay, remember that? And even when something's adjacent, they're next to each other. So those two are adjacent, those two are adjacent. Oh. Those two are adjacent, they're next to each other. Okay, good. Keep clearing up that terminology. Okay? Exactly. Okay, we have about five minutes to go okay, before the lesson finishes. What I want you to do, I want you to start to have a look at, well, you can do the consolidating task is going to be in the folder. Okay, the yellow sheet. So we won't have time to do it now, so you, but I want you to get this one and do this one for homework. Okay, so before you go, in the folder there's a yellow sheet. Okay. What we also want you to do though, is turn over to the third page of your booklet. And I need you to describe today your reasoning. Okay, we need to see the reasoning that Describe your reasoning because this is what we're aiming for in our, in our project, okay? We need to be able to describe mathematics. We need to talk about mathematics. We need to reason out our thoughts. So that's what we were really aiming for with this one. So can you describe what you, how would you rate your reasoning, okay? And ex quick exam, quick uh, uh, sentence why you would la la label yourself for that today. Also, down the bottom, remember our list of problem solving strategies? Can we have a look at ticking any of those that you think you use today? Okay, so think deeply about what, you, what your thought processes were during the task and whether you got the task out or not, and that's okay if you didn't, but as long as you kept trying, you would have got, you probably would have used some of those strategies. So can you identify those and, 
explain why you went with those ones. So make sure you have your get you in writing your diary so you need to do the consolidating task, okay? And think about what you saw from Ashton and Daniel if you didn't get a, an explanation down. You're going to put them back in the folder, okay? And think about how you could do that a little bit better on your consolidation task, okay? How you can use that, work, start working in those descriptions on your consolidation task for homework, okay? So writing your diary and do that. Make sure you're writing in your diary to complete your journal as well. Okay, once you've finished your reflection, make sure you've grabbed your consolidating task. Can you put the blue sheet back in the folder for collection?